So I've got Nikki here today. Now, Nikki, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm a mum of two, um, two little monkeys who drive me crazy, love them to bits. <laughs> um, um, personal trainer and a new figure competitor. Um, I live and breathe everything fitness. I, I'm very passionate about it and I just, I love what I do. So I'm lucky enough that um, I found my thing. Yep. You know, because you go through life trying to figure out what it is you want to do and I've, I found my thing and I love it. And um, the competing is, I suppose, just been a natural progression for me from, you know, being a personal trainer and it's just taken it to a whole new level and I'm just, um, I, I'm obsessed with it. And, yep. um, you know, some of the other girls are kind of, coming to the end of a season and, and relaxing and, and you know talking about what, what they're going to do and I'm like no no I'm just getting into it so I've got another one in March and I'm yep. you know just I just want to be better and, yep. and you know so yeah. So you probably really like the whole idea of actually going to America and having everything paid yes, for. Yes yes so that'd be awesome. If you did go over there where would you like to go and see? <laughs> oh, oh I don't know I've, I've never been a big city girl like New York shopping would be nice but you know but Vegas, I think I'd, I'd definitely like to do the whole glitzy Vegas thing. Um, and then maybe Miami Beach mm, and just good. do this for a week. Yeah. <laughs> now, who's your inspiration? MJ. MJ? MJ, yes. She's one mine. of the judges. Yeah. I love her. See, it's funny because IFBB, um, she was backstage because she's just part of, the, part of the crew. And it was nice to see her in her naturals, natural, yep. natural way because she's um, you know, a bit softer than she is when she's on stage. And... But it was just so cool hanging out with like my aunt. I was like, oh my god, it's MJ. <laughs> no, I have a thing with MJ too. She's a very natural. Yeah, very just lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So what is it like being backstage with all the girls then? You know what, the girls are all so lovely. When I first started competing, it was one of the things I was a bit worried about. I was expecting, you know, like you do when you have a whole group of girls. There's someone who's catty and someone who's bitchy. But it's just so different. I was just talking to the lady who was doing my makeup saying, it's so strange to be with a group of girls where everyone's just so lovely and everyone's backstage going, oh my God, your ass is amazing and I love your shoulders. No, you know, we're just so complimentary of each other yep. because I think it's just, we've all worked so hard. It's not just like we woke up and we've got hot bodies and we're going to show them off in bikinis. You yep. know, we've been strict with our dieting. We've been training for three hours a day. You know, we've all yep. put, been through hell to get to where we are. So yep. Everyone's just so lovely and it is like a real little family and you know that you can tell the girls who have been competing for a while as well They'll know each other and you know, it's just it's just a nice little family So I'm yeah. looking forward to having some champagne with the girls tonight. You'll have fun tonight. Yeah then. <laughs> so We've got KJ here, which is a cool name now tell us a little bit about yourself um, Well, I got into the fitness modeling last year. So this is my second season competing um, I've placed in both years and hoping to hopefully win today <laughs> Now, obviously, you said you want to place today, but yeah. what about the other big prize going overseas? How does that make you feel? Yeah, that's why I want to place today, <laughs> just to go overseas. So that would absolutely be amazing to do. So, yeah. so who's your inspiration? My inspiration would probably be Melissa Lamand. She's my coach as well. Awesome. So yeah, I just love her passion for health and fitness. And yep. Yeah. Now, obviously, you've got a bikini you get to keep. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think about it? Oh, I love it. This is my favourite colour, so <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Works well. Yeah. <laughs> now you're in the fitness division. What do you reckon the judges are looking for? Uh, nice shoulders. All the girls have absolutely amazing shoulders in there. Nice toned, healthy and fit looking. And yeah. How's all the girls been backstage? Oh, they're all really friendly. I was a bit intimidated at first, but they're all absolutely lovely. You'll be fine. Oh, have thank fun. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So I've got Danielle here. Now Danielle, whereabouts are you from? I'm from Melbourne. Wow, the cold. Yeah, it was freezing when we left home, so it was nice to come here to some warmth. So how have you prepared yourself for this competition? Um, I competed in my first two comps in September, October, IMBA, and so I was pretty much in shape still, so I decided to do this just last Friday. Great. So a bit last minute, but a bit of Great. fun, I think. <laughs> so how has it been with the girls backstage? Oh, it's been great. I mean, everyone's really lovely. When I first competed, I thought that it might be a bit odd. But no, everyone's really fun and it's, it's, that's why I've come back to do it, I think, because of the environment. Yep. Now, with this competition, if you got to go to America, where would you like to go? I've been a couple of times. I love Ooh. America. Um, New York yep. is my favourite city, but Vegas is fun. Yep. Um, probably Florida as well. Yep. Yeah, why not? <laughs> now, before you get on stage, what normally runs through your mind? Hmm. 
I usually get pretty nervous just before I get on stage, but I try not to think about too much. So nothing really except going out there and smiling. Yeah. Now, is there anyone in the industry that you actually look up to? Um, Laura D. Yeah. She's one of my, I'm a fan of hers. Um, I'm pretty new, so I don't know a whole lot about it yet. I only started um, prepping about six weeks before my first comp, so I don't know heaps about the industry as yet. So would you consider this something that you'd like to do like in the years to come or? Yeah, I still haven't fully decided, but I'm thinking I might keep going next year and see where it, where it takes me. Cause I did well in my first couple of comps, so. So what do you reckon the judges are looking for since you're in the bikini, sorry, no, uh, the fitness division? Um, apart from overall symmetry, I guess they're looking for um, personality, to shine through, um, just a bit of, bit of spunk, I think. And how will you show your personality on stage? Um, hopefully my smile. Hopefully I'll be happy and smiley on the stage. Um, and we've got a couple of questions we need to answer, so hopefully I'll be able to bring that through answering the questions and in our sports wear, which is themed. Yep, great. Now, what theme wear do you have? I'm dressing as a boxer because Ooh. I actually do boxing. So when I decide, when I heard that's what we had to decide, that was the first thing that popped in my head. So it's not very girly, but I made a little glam costume. It's going to be about you. Anyway. Yeah, that's true. All right, have fun tonight and good luck. Thank you. Hi, I've got Ellie here. Now, Ellie's have come all the way from Newcastle. Now, how have you prepared yourself for this competition? Uh, I've done meal prep for about nine weeks now. Um, I found out about five weeks ago that I was going to do it and my trainer, Jamie, has been getting me ready for it since. And I've been carb loading and water loading this week, so it's been very exciting. Now tonight is also got theme wear. What is your theme wear? I'm wearing a little boxing outfit. Oh. Because I am a mad fan of Rocky, so I thought I might give it a go. Yeah. Now with this competition, you get the chance to go to America. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's so exciting. Just getting the opportunity to support Dana and also have the chance to go is just amazing. And where else would you like to go when you're in America? Oh, I'd love to go to New York, just for the shopping. I love shopping um, and yeah in Las Vegas just for the lights. So has all the girls backstage been really nice? Of course yeah I've met heaps of really nice girls today and they're very welcoming so it's been great. What's one thing that runs through your mind before you get on stage? Uh, one thing that runs through my mind is just how I'm going to perform which I'm going to do 100% but yeah have fun I've, with it. This is my first time on stage so. Is there anyone in the industry that inspires you at all? Um, yes, Melissa uh, Lemaine, she's yep. probably around here, I have her pictures everywhere in my room. Um, so her body is just amazing to me, so I want to get there one day, so yeah. Thank you and have fun tonight. Thank you, you too. So I've got Emily here today and Emily's come all the way from Geelong. Now Emily, how have you prepared yourself for today? Um, well I've been on the competition circuit um, since August, so nothing different really, just um, clean eating lots of gym, a um, bit of yoga, and just, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> now, tonight is not just about the trophies, but also to get the chance to go overseas. Now, how does this make you feel? Overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> um, exciting, um, but yeah, it would be very, very overwhelming. <laughs> now, do you have anyone in the industry that you look up to? Um, yes. Kelly Keeley is actually one of the fitness models that's competing today. Yep. Um, she's definitely one of my idols. Um, and also Marika, yep. um, one of Dana's models. How did you find out about this job again, stuff? Um, I've always bought my bathers through Dana. Um, and in one of my parcels, the flyer came and I yeah, said straight away, I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Put that amazing. The... Put that on the fridge. Yep. <laughs> so if you got the chance to go to the USA, what would you want to do over there? Um, oh, shopping. <laughs> um, yeah, modeling would be fantastic. Such an opportunity over there. Um, I've always wanted to do the Natural Olympia over there as well. Yeah, that's one of my goals. Um, but yeah, I've never been overseas, so it'd be oh. a big experience. Yeah. yeah, not just only for competition, but for life experience. Too. Life experience as well. Yeah. Yep. Hi, I'm here with Caroline today. Now, Caroline, how have you prepared yourself for this competition? Oh, that's an interesting question because at the beginning of the month we had our last Federation comp. 
So and that was the Australian titles. Yeah. And then after that, we had the runway show with um, Dana Kamont Bikinis in Brisbane, which was really fun. So I think the lead up into the extravaganza has been somewhat different. I've been a bit more relaxed because I've known that one, it's the final comp of the season. Um, two, it's Dana Kamont's show. This is her creation, her baby. And three, it's just, um, I think for me, it's just an opportunity to to enjoy myself and have a bit of fun and meet some girls and make a weekend out of the Gold Coast yep. and enjoy that glass of champagne with Dana to say thank you for everything that she's done to me, for me I should say, and um, just for this year it's been amazing. Yeah. Now there is a theme wear and I wanted to ask you what's your theme wear? That's a really good question, I'm still working that out. No. <laughs> um, so for this particular competition I've decided to go with sort of like a somber dancer um, Brazilian, Rio Carnaval, so I was thinking like a peacock, I love all those colours, the blues and the greens um, and I just wanted to show a different side of my personality. I think everybody knows me as Confessions of a Sports Model and the little gym bunny, I'm always in my gym gear but outside of work I generally am quite girly girl so I've got my heels on and my flowy skirt so I just wanted to show that side of me, a bit extravagant, a yep. bit of a standout but still have elegance and poise to my costume. Sounds great. Now, I need to capture that for when I get asked by <laughs> Heather. <laughs> now, before you go on stage, what runs through your mind? Oh, just lots of things. I'm always thinking about, okay, my chest, you know, chest out, head up, smile, stomach in, don't trip over, hope to God your bikini doesn't come undone. <laughs> and just to enjoy it, just to go out there and have fun with it and just to really work that stage. I know I've worked really hard to be here, like all the girls. Yep. So yeah, it's hard sometimes because you do run on nerves and anxiety and excitement, but just to turn that negativity into positive little butterflies and, yep. and have fun. What about for the new girls? Do you have any tips of the trade to tell the new girls into the industry? ones that are looking to compete. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a great industry to be to be a part of. I think there's everybody sort of asked me that question, is it bitchy? But it's not. it's quite the opposite, it's not at all. For me it's a great way to meet other girls in the fitness industry. Um, so if you're looking to compete, I think the best idea is to check out Danica Mont's uh, bikini website because she does have some links up there where we filmed behind the scenes for the all female fitness classic so have a look at that and then you can really sort of grasp what actually happens on the day you know all the glitz and glamour it's just lots of fun um, find yourself a good personal trainer um, be consistent with your diet and your training yep. and then come and show what you've got on stage yeah it's a great journey to be a part of yeah now do you have anyone that you look up to Oh, it's a good question. I like, oh, that's a tough one. I think, you know, just women inspire me. So like my boss, for example, she's a great career, career woman. She's, she's a mother of three. Um, and then we've got Dana Kamont, who's again, a mother of two and she's been competing and now she's got this whole business. She started off being a bikini designer mm -hmm. and then competing and now she's got her own show. She's got the beauty lounge. She's got the runway. What doesn't she have? Extra exactly. <laughs> so that, so that inspires me as well. Like women that are successful. Yep. Um, and then in terms of fitness models, I don't really have anybody that I follow. I just, yeah, I just turn to myself for inspiration and my yep. page inspires me and my yep. followers inspire me. Yep. Yeah. Now this competition is not just about trophy, but also to go to America. Now, how would that make you feel? Um, absolutely amazing. That's certainly on a dream. At the beginning of the year, I wrote down a wish list of things that I wanted, and that was to start my page, which I've done. Um, sponsorship, of course, which I've also been successful in. Um, a number of comps, which I've done. And then on my dream list was also to compete overseas. So yeah. I would love to have the opportunity. I would love to get that pro card. I would love to represent Dana yeah. Kamont overseas with her bikinis. That would just, for me, it would just be a dream come true. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't ask for an IID. Yeah, why do I need it after yours? Because I've seen these already. Okay, you can just put your bikini on really yeah. quick. Quick guys, up the back, up and the back. With your singlets on now, quickly. Just do another one. And then I'll get right, up there. Sorry, everybody regroup. More girls are showing up. More Thank girls, you. come back together. Let's see. Let's see if the cord helps. 
the banana corn. Yeah, it smelled like banana. I had banana with my corn. I did. Yeah, no, it's sitting next to it, and I'm like, it smells like banana. <laughs> If you did win tonight and you did go to America, whereabouts would you like to go in America? Uh, LA would be amazing. I'd love to go there. I'd love to see all the stars because I'm going to be a star one day and it's going to be awesome. You'll see my name, Ricky Lee. <laughs> Thanks for that, Ricky Lee. <laughs>